Is any seller finance deal you do going to be good? Let's find out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise. I help people like you invest in real estate, utilizing all them strategies out there, man. Long-term buy and hold, flipping, wholesaling, this or that. And today we're talking about seller financing, man. Seller financing is the holy grail of everything, right? Financing is awesome, right? Seller financing has taken it to a new level. That's free money, right? I talk a lot about residential financing and how awesome that stuff is, right? But you only get 10 of those loans, and you got to move up to commercial financing. Well, seller financing, it's free financing. It doesn't count towards your 10. It doesn't usually count anywhere, right? Seller financing is amazing. Uh, the terms can be whatever you in the seller uh, can work out, okay? And there's a couple ways to get seller financing, right? If you're in the Cleveland market where I am, all right? So let's let's uh, go ahead and pull up HoltonWise.com, okay? If you're in the Cleveland market, folks, you click property, search for sale, you scroll down here, click here for MLS access, all right? You click here. As soon as this thing works, all right, there we go. And you got right here the seller finance deals. You get access to all the seller finance deals, whether you want two to four unit seller finance deals, single families, or apartment buildings, okay? If you're in the Cleveland market, that's what you do. If you're outside of Cleveland, don't worry. I got you covered too, folks. Click the show notes below. I got a link to PropStream. It's a free trial for you. You can utilize their software, connect with uh, distress sellers and this or that. Anywhere in the USA, right? So prop stream from a people outside of Cleveland, HoltonWise.com from a people inside of Cleveland. And then, folks, after you get yourself a seller on the line, a deal, a deal you're ready to do, I can analyze it. And that's what I'm doing right now from my guy Tim. Tim, out-of-state investor. You come across this deal, it's got seller financing. Seller financing is the greatest thing in the world, brother. So is this deal going to work out? Let's take a quick break and talk about it. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Okay, so seller financing, man. I love it. It's great. Seller financing is the best thing in the world. So what can we do on this deal? Nothing. <laughs> All right, nothing. You can't do nothing, okay? I'm sorry. But this deal is not going to be a good deal, all right? Look, it's priced at 49900 and it's been on the freaking market for 217 days. That is an eternity because this deal is not going to work for you, okay? I do not believe this deal works for you as an out-of-state investor. It's overpriced for the neighborhood, but, you know, sometimes we talk. You do kind of have to... Uh, pay to play so to speak if it's an overpriced property sometimes people will offer seller financing because they can't sell it any other way okay uh, so i'm not necessarily a hundred percent opposed to you overpaying for a seller finance deal but this is one of those things like hey it's cool the seller's gonna finance me but like dude what are you gonna do with it right i don't think you're gonna be able to do anything with that as a brand new out-of-state investor right because the property's going to need rehab. You're going to have a hell of a time finding somebody to rehab it, right? You're going to have a hell of a time finding somebody to manage it, okay? Like Holton Wise, we don't do rehabs and management in properties uh, <clears throat> in neighborhoods uh, that are this distressed and this blighted and this crime-ridden, right? It's just not worth it, right? My staff, if I'm sending the guys down there to show apartments and fix houses in neighborhoods that are this dangerous, uh, they typically... 
they quit. <laughs> and I got a lot of turnover, right? This what this is the turnover symbol, right? I get too much turnover, and it's too hard uh, for me to run my construction and management business, right? I don't want to deal with that, man. So it's too much, right? And you get a lot of the other reputable companies, they're going to say the same thing. So that only really leaves you the out-of-state investor uh, with unlicensed folks, unknown folks, right? So you're in a neighborhood that's very dangerous. That makes things hard. You're brand new at the game. That makes things hard. And now you can't get reputable folks to do the work for you. So that makes things like a totally unknown. So I have no idea what you would do with this property. I have no clue if you could make money on it. I would guesstimate you probably would not. I would assume you would probably lose money, quite a bit of money. Um, if you're doing some research at home and you want to figure out, like, hey, man, is this going to be a property that's going to give me trouble? Am I going to run into too many issues? You can always pull up the Google Earth, right, which is what I've done here. And if there is vacant lots all over the place, that's bad, right? Because that's the thing, right? They got this thing listed at 50K. Dude, it's going to take a whole bunch of money to rehab it. Like, a lot of times in neighborhoods like this, the properties get so dilapidated, the cost to rehab them would be more than they're actually worth, and they just tear them down. And that's exactly what has happened here, 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 right there, 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 here, 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 right there, right there, right there, right there, up top, two right here, one right here few more right there. I don't know if I did those or not. A couple right there, right? You get the point, okay? All those spots used to be houses, and they were dilapidated, and then people realized, like, oh, man, the cost to actually fix this, it's going to be more than the actual value of the home. They just walk away from them, right? And then the city tears them down, and then people could buy the lot for a dollar, right? So I love seller financing, but don't be blinded by it, I guess is the moral of the story even if you can get this person to finance you it's like what are they financing right like honestly the house i mean what's the value what's the value to you if you're a local guy or gal uh who's like a contractor themselves and they can get in there themselves and they can self-manage the asset might be able to work something out here but for an out-of-state investor I, I in your situation i just don't see a deal here so i think you got to walk away from this one Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.